hi guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while and I'm sorry about that I've been working on the crochet projects to come I'm very excited about that and I hope you're excited as well but let's get into this video guys I started with the pre poo we're gonna curl our hair play with pattern beauty test it on spoolies and all of that I did use some conditioner and a special oil mix that I've been playing with and concocting I've been experimenting a lot behind the scenes that's why I haven't really uploaded natural hair videos I've just been kind of toying with my hair so let's start by rinsing our hair out getting rid of all of this conditioner and pre poo goodness and we're going to shampoo so you guys know when I was on vacation you saw me use pattern beauty for the first time I kind of slide the products into my videos I never did a proper review and I didn't feel like I needed to because I thoroughly enjoyed the products but there are several reviews out there so what's mine like a drop in the ocean anyway you know what I do with my shampoo I dilute it and then I target my scalp and I try to keep everything unidirectional when I'm shampooing my hair because I don't want any tangles when you start going in different directions it's difficult and I know I should wash my hair in sections and I'm gonna get in trouble for not doing so but this just works for me and when I twist my hair guys it tangles I am a terrible twister so I, I don't mess with that with water and twisting and shrinkage I'm just not gonna mess with it so we're gonna do our scalp make sure we massage it well and let the shampoo travel down and we're gonna continue going when I am rubbing my scalp with my fingertips not scratching it I grab my hair and rub gently I'm going fast but I promise I'm being gentle okay and I'm going in there making sure everything is nice and clean Sometimes I double cleanse, but this time I'm not, and I'm using the remainder of the shampoo water mix to get the rest of my hair before I condition my hair. So let's get under that water and rinse out all of the shampoo. We don't want any dryness. This is a very nice shampoo though. I like it. It's one of my top five. And I'm going in with the intensive conditioner. This conditioner, to me, it's like the heavy conditioner even though it's not the same for me it's feels the same I love both of them on my hair they're very thick they're nice I use them I enjoy them I'm glad I got the large size but I'm gonna go ahead and finger detangle as I go I have not washed my hair in three weeks and I haven't really been combing it either so I know I have a lot of tangled hair in there I need to make sure I take care of it with my fingers at least after rinsing I put my hair in a snappy well two snappies joined together and I stretched out my ponytail in the back so that my hair would have a little bit of stretch before detangling just make it easier on me even though it doesn't look stretched out it looks very kinky right now <laughs> but I'm going down on my scalp with my biotin hair serum from purity naturals a review is coming up the good the bad the ugly and the jojoba oil from pattern beauty is going on my hair this stuff makes my scalp itch so I'm not messing with it I'm not putting it on my scalp it might work for others but it makes my scalp itch but I love the way it smells and I love the way it feels on my hair it's kind of like one of those really bad situations but I'm also using the leave-in conditioner on my hair which I absolutely love it makes my hair feel nice and soft and I'm putting my hair in bantu knots as always to stretch it out before I comb it out because my hair is kinky and my hair breaks easily when I comb it so I have to do things to make things easier on myself and I do have several okay I do this in like every video so I'm not even gonna link a detangling video because I literally detangle in almost every natural hair video and I do the same thing almost every single time but yeah leave-in conditioner on top of oil and then put it in a bantu knot and then wait about half an hour before I start combing my hair out so this comb I love it because it has rectangular teeth therefore it's not going to have my hair wrapping around the teeth as much as I love my rake comb my hair sometimes coils around the teeth of my rake comb because the diameters are similar so I have that snap sometimes when I'm detangling even though it's one of the best combs for me but I don't have that issue with this comb because it is not the same okay it's a square so 
I'm gonna apply my styling cream, which I love. It's a definite top five up there with Entwine, Luxe Jew, and Trey Lux. I'll definitely say those three and this are on the same level. All black owned, by the way. I am wrapping African hair threading to stretch my hair out. I have several tutorials on how to do African hair threading to be gentle on your hair, not snatch your edges out, and also protect your ends. I will link a good one down below, maybe two, and I think I'll link it up here as well so that you can see how I stretch my hair details and how I curl my hair with thread. For those of you who maybe don't know about curling your hair with thread, you might find that video to be useful. So that's what I'm doing, African hair threading. I think I did a total of eight sections in my hair to stretch my hair out. Usually I do 16, but I was feeling so lazy, guys. But this is my shedding. This is three weeks in, and I tend to shed more than that if I go too long without washing and detangling my hair. That was good, and that's all due to the comb. We're gonna apply some mousse and put our spoolies in our hair, starting with the small ones, and then I'm gonna come back with the large spoolies. But yeah, playful pink, shadow black, and glow in the dark white spoolies. These are the small ones or the regular size and I'm also applying some edge control by Pattern Beauty on my ends to make sure everything's nice and smooth from the roots to the tips because with kinky hair, it's very easy to have too many, you know, textured areas that don't need to be textured. We want everything nice and smooth. Now, for those of you who are new to spoolies or haven't quite mastered them yet, there are several tutorials on YouTube, but I do have a detailed tutorial if you are struggling with your spoolies rolling out when you put them in, or if you have any other issues with your spoolies, I address those in that video, and I use both sizes of spoolies in that video as well. Very detailed, but basically, I roll down the middle, roll back, roll forward, and that's how I lock the spoolie in place. But don't worry, I'm linking the video and you're gonna have all the information you need so that you can have an easy time whenever you try doing this, okay? Last one with the mousse and wrap, wrap, wrap up close and we're done. We are so done. I usually use about, I don't know, 60 to 70 something of the small ones in my head depending on how I feel and we have some nice curls, overnight curls. I use more if I know I'm not going to have an opportunity to have my rollers in for a long enough time for them to dry. So if I know it's going to be a short night, I'm definitely using more rollers. If I know I'm going to take my rollers out the next afternoon, doesn't matter how many I use. But put some swag on it when you remove them, okay? Put your finger and your thumb there and just roll and slide it out, okay? Yeah. And this is our hair. It looks good. You can't tell me my hair does not look good. And it also looks good when I do it without stretching my hair first, but I am a stretched out natural these days, so I tend to stretch my hair before doing anything. I wash, I stretch, and then I do a low manipulation style, or I do a protective style, or I just kind of bun it, whatever, which is a low manipulation style. So yeah, I wash and stretch my hair most times, now because that's what I did earlier on and it helped me a lot and I just avoid tangles I avoid shedding I avoid the need to comb my hair I'm currently picking my hair out with the afro comb and I love it absolutely love the pattern beauty tools decided on putting my hair in a banana clip just so I could preserve the curls a little bit longer and that's all that I did guys this is my separated hair it looks so nice and fluffy and I'm using some of the Groganic serum on my hairline but yeah that's it and I think you guys have already seen some of this on Instagram and in my stories so uh, let's move along to the large spoolies I'm removing my snappy hair tie I had my hair in a high puff bun whatever for a while because I just wasn't feeling it that's usually what I do. I default to buns and high puffs. That's my 
mood those are my manners and we're gonna do the exact same thing this is approximately one week later maybe a little bit more and I'm using the mousse again I did moisturize in between just a little bit and restretch my hair but yeah I'm using mousse to wrap my hair and this is dirty hair <laughs> and it took like another week for me to wash my hair again but I'm using the edge control on the ends to secure everything in place and I really need it this time because these are larger rollers on the small ones I can get away with not using edge control because they're so small but on the large ones mm, I can't get away with it at all so whenever applying mousse try to use a little bit of mousse so that your hair can actually dry like half a pump, a quarter of a pump. Your hair does not have to be soaking wet. It just needs to be moist enough. If you can feel the wetness on your palm, it's too wet. You should only be able to feel some moisture, just a little bit, on the top of your hand. Trust me, if you want your hair to dry, <laughs> you're gonna do what I say. I have messed up a million times you want to keep the moisture to a minimum even if you are using mousse and mousse dries fast but just in case keep the moisture low okay and I do have vents on the spoolies so my hair is gonna dry anyway if I give it at least 8 to 12 hours guaranteed dryness I did notice however that some people were complaining about the fake spoolies and their hair not drying even after 24 hours and I was like that is wild I picked up a few to test for myself just to see what they're all about I took a look at them and I did notice that the vents on the fake spoolies are much smaller than the vents on the original spoolies so maybe that's an issue you don't have enough airflow with the fakes but I mean you get what you pay for they're cheaper so if you are gonna use a fake roller definitely use less product so at least you give your hair an opportunity to dry I mean I already do that with every roller set even perm rods which are 100% exposed I'm not going to be applying a lot of product because I know my hair is not gonna dry I know it's, it's not gonna dry so make sure you are conscious of how much you're putting on your hair just a little bit goes a long way okay I know you guys love these you love the large spoolies you love how they look you've said it before I mean I've been doing this for what five years <laughs> I've been using spoolies for like five years so honestly I just did it because I wanted to see how it would look with pattern beauty priming and prepping for the curling and this came out nice the styling cream by pattern beauty I've used it before just spoolies with the styling cream I have a picture somewhere but I never posted it on Instagram or social media and it looked just like this but I mean guys Pattern Beauty did a good job. My curls felt soft and I am going to separate my hair. I do thumb separation now, basically bearing my thumb on my hair and guiding it through to the other side gently so that I can separate my hair and that helps a lot. It helps avoid frizziness, it just kind of works. So here's the thumb separation up close so you can see properly what I'm talking about. Just put your thumb up there and it just kind of finds its way through and it's good okay yeah but definitely the styling cream top five four up there it's good like entwine good like Lux Ju, good like Trey Lux definitely one of my favorites and for me out of all of the products it's definitely worth the most that and the leave-in conditioner are my favorites. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I will talk to you in my next video. But until then, please continue to take care of yourselves and your families. And bye!